Britain has suspended dozens of arm licenses to Israel as the war with Hamas rages on. It is with regret that I inform the House today the assessment I have received leaves me unable to conclude anything other than that for certain UK arms exports to Israel, there does exist a clear risk that they might be used to commit or facilitate a serious violation of international humanitarian law. Despite concerns over a growing movement to ban arms to Israel, Foreign Secretary David Lemmy stressed that this is not a complete embargo. This is not an arms embargo. It targets around 30, approximately 350 licenses to Israel in total for items which could be used in the current conflict in Gaza. The rest will continue. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu took to X to express his outrage. This shameful decision will not change Israel's determination to defeat Hamas a genocidal terrorist organization that savagely murdered 1,200 people on October 7, including 14 British citizens. Instead of standing with Israel, a fellow democracy defending itself against barbarism, Britain's misguided decision will only embolden Hamas. Others too slammed the decision. Israeli Foreign Minister Yisrael Katz said that Israel was, quote, disappointed by the decision. Defense Minister Yoav Gallant said in a statement that he was deeply disheartened to learn of the sanctions placed by the UK. UK Chief Rabbi Ephraim Mervis also condemned the government's decision to suspend arms licenses to Israel. Others welcomed the move. Jordan's foreign minister praised the arms ban and called for other countries to follow suit, saying he wanted a, quote, complete arms embargo on Israel from countries all over the world. British exports amount to less than 1% of the total arms Israel receives. Foreign Secretary David Lammy told Parliament the suspension would not have a material impact on Israel's security.